what's up everybody it is kellen here from start your systems and welcome back to mx bikes we are not doing a progression series today instead we're just doing a regular gameplay because mx bikes was just released on steam a week ago or two weeks ago now i guess and uh i've been wanting to get down and play it a little bit more and i was able to get online with some buddies this past week and play it a little bit more and I really actually am enjoying the changes that have been made to this game, so I wanted to share with you guys kind of the update of the game a little bit. And today we're going to be playing Florida Track and Trail, which was made by uh, Vortex Damien, that's Damien Desmond, uh, Astrail, and Geo Fanatic, who uh, I guess uh, combined their efforts to make this lovely track. And uh, ripping it around on a couple skins as well that I have linked in the description so you guys can like download this as well it's like a geico honda skin got some alpine star boots the uh shift blue label gear and the uh 60 atr2 i believe it is um but i don't remember who all made these in so i'll apologize <clears throat> so i'll link them in the description you guys can try it out for yourself you can also try out this track but i wanted to play it talk about this game a little bit some of the updates as mentioned, it is now available on Steam, so it's a little bit more streamlined when it comes to like playing online, playing with your friends. Uh, the server lists are right in game, so like the user interface is a lot better as well. So you can just like join any server and tell your friends, "Hey, I'm in this server. Go ahead and look on the server list." Bam! Suddenly, you guys are on the same server playing. Um, and then physics-wise, which is what everybody's going to want to know, obviously, I feel like this game has made a ton of ton of improvements since I really got down and last did a bunch of videos in the game. I think it was, I want to say beta 7 or so, and the last update that was just released today I think is beta 12.01 or something like that. They just released a new update, so um, they definitely made some big improvements. And I'd say like the, the, the biggest one is just in general the stability and, and like kind of playability of the game is better. It used to be so bouncy so weird and like hard to get a grasp on but as you can see like now it is still bouncy and yes it is still like a technically difficult game it's meant to be like a motocross simulation type game um but even so they've made huge strides with just kind of the flowiness of the bike and how it feels attached to the track and and, and corner speed and it comes with like assists and stuff now that you can kind of edit the game with to make it a little bit easier for new players all the way down to the most advanced players that play the game now so um like i said really really good improvements and um honestly this game has suddenly become one of the more like favored games to pick up i think definitely among my friend group which uh varies their likes and dislikes every now and then but uh, right now mx bikes is totally in with them so probably gonna be playing a lot more of it in general um, but overall, since it was released on Steam, I've seen a lot of like just people in my friends list on Steam and stuff like that getting into it, playing it more. So it's cool. It's kind of like it's it's got the fresh vibe again, even though realistically it's been semi-released for like seven years and uh, gone through a complete makeover since then. Um, but uh, yeah, I think it's $34.99 or $35.99 or something like that on Steam, so it's not even like ridiculously full price. And a lot like Sim, there are a lot of like modifications available right off the get-go um, that you can download for the game and, and try out so that it doesn't get stale immediately. I think there's 12 default tracks it comes with, um, and then it comes with uh, several default bike classes and such, but then you can even get like a an OEM pack that updates your game with a bunch of newish looking in some t in some cases and, and other cases brand new bikes um you guys may have remembered uh, about a year ago maybe a little over a year ago now i played hawkstone park with the alta redshift mxr so they have electric bikes in this game they have 250fs two strokes four strokes everything alike um really kind of covered the whole gamut with different bike types and, and trying to make it as simulated and realistic as possible so um yeah, I, I would I would at least recommend trying it. And because it's on Steam, there's always the option to refund it if you hate it miserably so. But I would uh, give it a few hours. Don't give up on it right away. And um, try to get used to it. Because as it is a simulation video game, it's one of those games that you'll probably hate at first and grow to love. Um, myself coming from like a simulation game background, though, wasn't the most difficult thing to pick up and get used to, but I could 
totally understand people who are more on the casual console side picking this up and thinking it is absolute trash when you first play it because it is hard. It is not an easy game to pick up and learn. I know I'm somewhat making it look a little bit better right now with the way I'm playing, but trust me, I, it took me months to get this good. And even so, I'm not even close to as good as some of the people I play with or some of the people I have seen playing. So, um, yeah, don't get discouraged if you're terrible at the beginning. I was too. Everybody that picks up this game was eventually. Um, and yeah, so Florida Track and Trail, which is what I'm playing today, just figured it was a good track to show off just because it is fast, it is flowy, and in regards to some of the other tracks that are available in this game, it is kind of like easier, almost. Um, because it is so fast and wide open, like there's like a more streamlined base to the track where like you feel like um, you can be out there loose a little bit and not crash every section. Because there are definitely quite a few tracks in this game, mainly the Supercross tracks that are just so hard to get used to that it's almost like too frustrating to play at a certain point. But this track, definitely not like that. Uh, much more, like I said, just kind of easy. So figured it was a good track since I know a lot of people watching this video probably don't know what MX Bike Bikes is. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you've seen some of my videos. But uh, as of the channel has grown about 20,000 subscribers since I did the last MX Bikes, Bikes video, um, it uh, dawned on me that some of you newer viewers may not even know what this game is or about. And uh, like I said, it's been kind of in progress. This guy, Poboso, that made the game um, also made a game called GP Bikes, and he's made a couple other like simulation-based games. And GP Bikes is, is really mostly like just, you know, street bike racing. Um, you can do like some free ride street bike stuff too, but it was uh, more heavily centered on the racing aspect of it. Um, and that game was super hard as well, so he's got a long list of like as realistic of a game as you can come across. Um, gosh, man, I keep hitting these stupid transitions and crashing. And so he took on this project, MX Bikes, back in 2012-ish, I think it was, or 2013, that he started really diving deep into it. And it was really hard to play at first. And it still kind of is now if you don't play it with any assists. Like, fortunately, I am using auto clutch, so I don't have to sh uh, use the clutch every time I shift. Um, and when I'm, like, getting off of the line, for example, and pulling away uh, from, like, a dead stop, the auto clutch helps with not just, like, looping out or stalling the bike all the time, which you can easily do. Like, if I just come up to the top of the hill and roll to a stop, the bike should stall. Let's see. Oh, no, I have the clutch in, so... Yeah, the clutch helps with that, but, like, I can kill the bike. Let's see if I just fall over and get up. I don't know, the bike's still on. But if I, man, I, I'm trying to remember how I could show you the bike stalling. Yeah, it's just always going to be on. Anyway, this game was so super realistic and still is super realistic as I just show off how realistic it is right there, that awesome crash. Um that if you don't play it with the assists on and you crash, you have to get up, you have to make sure you're in neutral, or at least you have the clutch in uh, if you're gonna be in gear and kickstart the bike. And uh, obviously now the newer bikes, it's all electric start, so just electric, electric starts the bike. But uh, you know, that was one of the more realistic aspects of the game that I can't remember I like seeing that much of in video games before. Obviously Sim doesn't even have that where you get up and you have to kickstart your own bike just to start going again. Um, so that was like more of the appealing draw to hardcore motocross people back in the day is that it's so realistic it, it literally has all these elements that you run into on a daily basis when you're just like riding a dirt bike you crash you pick the bike up but bike back up if you don't have your hand on the clutch you got to kick start the thing and get it going again um, so like yeah just super super realistic with all of it. I mean, th there's even more that I haven't gone into yet in, in regards to like setting up the bike that a lot like Sim and even like some of the newer um, like MXGP games and stuff like that, they drastically affect how the bike handles. I even myself have a little kind of cheeky setup that I use from some of my buddies that um, you know, they've been running and getting a little bit more used to and it helps with like the bounciness of this, this game which was always like my biggest gripe with the game is that like landing from a jump it was just so bouncy like you just bounce and bounce bounce all the way into the corner it's gotten better it was way worse uh, but 
The setups definitely help with that because then it, it restricts the bouncing and kind of makes it so you soak up things a little bit more. And um, that's something that I definitely need to get down and dirty on a little bit more if I'm going to full-time pick up this game and get decent at it. Um, but yeah, just in general, this is, uh, this is really cool to see that this thing has come pretty full circle with going through so many betas and finally making it onto Steam, getting released, and thus far I think getting a, a pretty positive reception for the for everybody that I've come across that's that's playing this game now I feel like most of them are pretty into it like they're not super bumming hard about uh, this game was released too early or it just wasn't complete and yada 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 um, are there improvements to be made still yeah absolutely and I think Caboso and anybody else that kind of helps out with the game a little bit understands that which is why they're still dropping patches um, it was released whatever a week and a half ago and bam we already have a brand new patch for the game so they're not messing around they wanted to get this thing released to the public and get people actually feeling it out and playing it and so far I think relatively so good um, but yeah personally speaking I'm gonna get into this game heavier I'm gonna start playing this game more often you'll probably see more videos coming out on the channel I would suspect that my group of friends and I will eventually start racing each other on some weird competitive online server or racing event. I'm not sure what that is yet, but maybe it's just all of us getting together on some random night of the week and challenging each other and taking each other out and yelling at each other. But uh, I'm sure that'll add some more value to the game for us and make it a little bit more fun and interesting beyond just the uh, already cool aspects that exist in this game. So. Little MX Bikes update today. Just wanted to show you guys some news and a little bit of gameplay about this game. Um, if you have any further questions, something that I didn't bring up, please be sure to hit the comment section below and I'll be happy to jump down there and answer any questions that I actually have an answer to because I personally speaking don't have all the answers to this game yet. I'm still dipping my feet in the waters a little bit, um, but I will try my best to find you an answer if I don't have it and uh, love to share as much information as I can about it. Always exciting to have new games to play. I know this isn't new necessarily, but it's out on Steam now, so you PC gamers, get after it and um, try it out. So thanks for watching another video here on Star Your Systems. As always, Kellen gonna sign off here now and uh, hope to see you guys in all of our future videos here on the channel. So I'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.